Well, they say a week's a long time in harness racing at Brent White, and you went from Addington Raceway Ecstasy Friday night to quite a busy time over the next two or three days as a result of Spellbound coming out of the race. Tell me about what that's been like. Yeah, it's been interesting, Greg. As you say, it was uh, great to have him back winning last uh, Friday night. And, um, yeah, then the phone sort of went uh, early in the week when um, Nathan Purden's horse had a bit of bad luck, which you don't wish on anyone, and whether we may be interested um, if a slot come available. So quick discussion with the owners, and um, they yeah, weren't keen enough if, um, if there was a spot there for us. And uh, as it transpired, there was us and the Aussie horse, and they decided to take the Aussie horse. But, um, yeah, hey. It was good to be even approached. How close was it? I, I know because I spoke to you that you half by penciled in a slot with uh, logistics, so um, it must have been 50 50 almost. Yeah, I think it was. I mean, I just wanted to be prepared because I didn't want to be traveling at the end of the weekend, so I penciled in a spot with Majestic on uh, Thursday, so he would have missed Friday night's race if he had got a slot, and um, but he was also penciled penciled in to go next week anyway for, up for the Taylor Mile. That was his original plan. So barring he goes good this week, of course. Well, Brent, uh, essentially you've gone back to plan A, which is what you've done with this horse all the way through. You've been very patient with him. I know you've had to work through this with your owners who are, as we saw in the birdcage the other night, super enthusiastic. In fact, I think one of them picked you up at one stage, or which was uh, entertaining to watch. I can pro- promise you that, but... Uh, <laughs> Yeah, it's been a case of just allowing this horse to fill out his big frame, hasn't it? Yeah, he's always just been the slow maturing type and he's raced at two and three and four and but he hadn't had a lot of starts probably if you compare him to a lot of horses, but and he's always sort of showed us that there is a, a motor under there and um I think Mc McGuran's favourite saying is he needs a few bloody noses before they measure up to this lot uh up to this grade and I think he's you no know, it's going through cup week and cup time and so forth that he slowly just matured into a, the horse he is now. So this week Brent we have a 2600 metre mobile, it's a preferential barrier draw again and he's come up with basically the same number, however Kango's drawn to your inside as is Ultra Wise Guy which was the case last week are you expecting some more resistance this week? Well it's hard to say um, i what sort of gate speed Kango's got. I mean, we know Ultra Wise Guy gets off the gate good, and obviously uh, I'd say Timmy will be looking to just press forward and cross the markers and probably hopefully let us know, find our back again. That would be a perfect scenario, but racing's a funny thing, and, um, you know, uh, I don't tell Maddie what to do, so it'll be interesting. But, yeah, from the draw, you've got to go forward. You can't go anywhere else, can you? No. What about the 2,600 metres? Oh, it doesn't bother me. I'm sure it doesn't you either because it's a big, strong type and um, he, he's ready to run a decent clip over that distance and, and basically run the speed out of them again. Is that how you see it? Just about. That's why you sum it up. Yeah, if he uh, crosses to the top, um, I think, yeah, he'll it'll be his true staying test. All right. Well, you've done a great job with him thus far. So the Taylor Mile... Is the messenger in the Auckland Cup still on the radar, dependent on how he's going? Is is that what the way you see it? Yeah, um, I'm going. We'll go uh, Taylor Mile a messenger, and then we'll reevaluate it after that. I think there may be a race at Cambridge, yep. and then there's the uh, Roy, the, the what's called the Agua Caliente over there. It's the Roy Purden, yep. and then the Auckland Cup. But um, well, we'll just take two. Ra- we'll we'll more or less take a race at a time, Greg. But we'll. Definitely do the Taylor Mile and Messenger and then uh, Maria says. Yeah, well, you can't go in every dog fight, can you? And there's no. still a main goal, November. I know that's the biggest target for you and your owners. Yeah, well, that's dead right. He'll, um, yeah, whether we spell him up in Auckland, the nicer weather after he uh, finishes up there for a month and then bring him back in a couple of more weeks here or whatever we do. But, yeah, that's the main goal coming um, in this this side of Christmas anyway. You've also got on Friday night uh, mid through Louisiana Bow. Takes on a decent field in the last, but has a handy barrier draw. Yeah, and like in his run last week was pretty, or a fortnight ago was pretty good. Um, his, you know, Forte, he's a big horse too, and you think he's a stayer, but he's actually a short course horse. So, yeah, he can um, find the markers and Sugar Me and the Falcon and those ones come across. I would think he could be a top four player. All right. 
good uh, chance therefore on Friday night. Let's go to Winton on Saturday and the Southern Bell series has been a tremendous one and your two mares, Betters Tart and Maybelline have been right amongst it. Uh, how happy are you with them? Barrier one, Betters Tart, Barrier six, Maybelline going into Saturday's final. Yeah, I've been wrapped with them all the way through. Like uh, uh, Maybelline went to war there a couple of weeks, three weeks ago with uh, Steve and Amanda's horse and um, she was a bit tired afterwards, but she's come back and she's gone two super races since and better starts the same. Whatever one gets a nicer run beats the other one home. And the um, sad thing is Telf and Telf's got one that's beat us both times. So but that's racing will um, take it. But yeah, this week um, they've both been a um, Alistair Blacks and he does a super job with me horses in down south. And um, he you know, um, run and is happy with both. Better start, you say, for, well, the way the draws are coming out, it's got a super draw that probably followed um, Timmy Williams' one all the way. And Maybelline's just going to have to work into it at some stage. But, no, they're both uh, you know, going super races and um, probably both deserve a win, really. Yep, so darling me, of course, the challenger this week. You've had All-American lover, you're right. He's, they've got a couple of decent sort of uh, <laughs> mares there, haven't they? And uh, But you're, you're two are, you're, are more than capable of, of footing it with them, as we've seen. So we wish you well there. And then on Sunday, just got one in at Meth and Coley Trouble. Yeah, Coley Trouble's going around this week. Uh, Kimberly Butts driving this week. She's just started working for us. And um, Jared and uh, Blair had drive, so we put Kim up. Um, Blair was real happy with his run last uh, Sunday, actually. He said he was going to run third easy, and he just got a wee bit leg weary the last bit. So he was pretty happy with him. So, um, yeah, I think uh, he's a um, top four chance as well. He just needs to bring his manners to the whole um, the whole way, and he won't be far away. And a one win condition only race is ideal for these trotters because they do uh, find it hard at times when, with the ratings and that at times. Yep, they certainly do. Hey, uh, just back to Cranbourne. I saw some footage, uh, I think it might have been Saturday morning after uh, after his win at Addington, and he was bucking around the paddock. Um, I assume he's come through it all, all A-OK and um, couldn't couldn't be happier with him going into Friday night. Yeah, we gave him a quiet hobble this morning, and um, his heart rate was massive and massive. Um, his bride had Mr. to feed near the Tim um, took a video of him on, I think it was Sunday when he was feeding up, and yeah, he was very bright. So yeah, um, Tim's very excited because he does more of the work with him than I do, and um, yeah, and he was real wrapped with his work this morning. So yeah, well, I can be more happier, Greg, going into this week. Yeah, good on you, Whitey. Good uh, good luck to you and Tim and the connections with the horse. He's certainly uh, an exciting uh, prospect, not only right now but going forward too. So we wish you well Friday and in your trip north. And uh, thanks so much for taking your time out of your day, mate. Yeah, cheers, Greg. Thanks very much.